Ration. Speaking of which, Bravo straight away being attacked on every side possible because all that feminine Last hit! He managed to just get away from there. Oh, Gerasil is now going to be on the chopping block here. Nobody can see the place here. This actually even though they did sacrifice Bravo down on the bot side. Oh no, Ripple! Getting that side. Oh, do they get it? No, they don't. Retribution already used by King Brands himself. And now oh. they're going to be sucking in with a fatal Lynx. That smart missiles ain't gonna oh. help it. King Brands misses the perfect execution, but it's just back out of here. But luckily, they have to purify just in case. The KYY able to get his animation off, changing places. Go for defense and maintain uh, priority in the lanes. So that means even their rotations are kind of slow. Fatal Lynx are coming on Rabzu, but they're going in with the perfect execution. Instantly popping him down. The luck to able to secure the kill. But with the Tyrants for basically allowed to do what he wants to do. Or Thalmas. And now Doyote once again going to get caught off guard. Fatal Lynx is going to pull off the Farsa as well. Looks like Bigatron are going to take... But not much following up coming up from the team here. Jumping after one another. The Feather Etra a bit lopsided. I have to say, if only he's more centralized, probably going to deal a lot more damage. Well, Bravo! There's no way to shut this guy down! Yeah, but notice Why Ethan. would they focus on a tank that's impossible to shut down? I'm not entirely sure, but Ethan's still holding his ground, but now he's gonna be the one getting chunked out here. Despite the Starman shields that he's getting, it's going to be a Vigaton centric game. <sighs> that's too much. A defensive oh, oh. The question is will they secure the kill they did manage to get one will they get one more with that but they did not as slacking as they were in the first game here dreams still gonna go down no matter what he's game defense being very aggressive you're jumping in and invading onto king brands he uses the tempest but it's not gonna stop him going straight in for the buff again even has nowhere to go oh he's trying to open up tempest will it be enough he can actually run away for king brands while the rest of the team bigatron being smacked down here by Doyo, trying to get after one kill and another. They're going for the buff again. They try to go in. Perfect execution is just perfect this time. Dreams last take of his health. No, he can land that Fatal Lynx. Brands were forced to use that this time. They will be forced to go for a retreat while they are regen themselves. That Tyrus rage was perfect. Going for repo. They're not even probably have a better chance here on the side of it. It will be bigger strong, but again, they fight against in the blue buff zone. Dreams were forced to just blink out. He is just flickering away. He cannot help his team. Bravo Volcanic just tried to sustain himself from dying, but it's almost impossible. Last incentive will force being popped for the Lord. And now they're trying, struggling to make sure they can just defend their base. Even is slow, but he still pops his immortality. But at the same time, Doyok! Oh, get a minute! But the carries can really start putting the hurt into the enemy team. Indonesia realized this a little too late. They're slowly rotating out, but Ramzu is going to be the first to go down here as the Dreams brings him back with the Fatal Links. One more, they want to get this snowball going as Bigatron East. The rest of a team here. I'm speaking of which, they have tried to do whatever he can in the back line, putting a lot of uh, down damage output. While there's a little bit overextended Dreams out there, trying to change that volume, but it's not worth it. And this is going to be some more free kills for the side of Geek. As they just going to take a free kill for Grims here. Pull it in, but didn't land the Fatal Link on time. And no combo coming out. Can KYY KS this? Kill still away. No, didn't make it on time. Brent strikes so hard. Same mistake oh, twice here. Oh, Repo, no more Furaga armor on him. There goes the Torn Rose with the execution. Just dropping everything behind him. They can draw Yorks. On the last tick of health, they got King Brands here. They bet him out. He still got immortality. Brian will try to run away, but it's just impossible to catch him. He still got stunned by Fireball. Finish it off at the same time by Kaja. And just as that half HP left, what a drone. There's nothing else to defend this. Repo will pop last and send it. It's not going to be enough again. Reef managed to land a battling, but no follow up. This is going to be the end of it. Well, Reef managed to just muscle his way. They're trying to just take that throne down. Ram to forcing it out. Nobody to defend it. That's going to be game two for Gate Fab Indonesia. Take it away. GG, well played to Gate Fab Indonesia. Bravo! Ooh, last tick of health. Can you run?
run away with that rune coming in. Well, uh, Coco, no way to run. Oh, he missed it. He whipped it a bit by still managing. Got himself that second oh, oh, skill oh, oh. just now. Oh, it's not over just yet. KYY, he found the targets and in there. Two disrespecting. Oh. oh, finally. Okay, okay. But a lot of. I don't know what he doing there. Apparently, he was way too far ahead from everybody. Somebody off during the rotation. Oh, he was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, you know, Big Tron stuck together. Two, but no follow up here. Doyo in a lot of trouble. He jumps into a fight that he can't get out of. The silence is from the smoke screen. Just a little too strong. BT. Uh, wait, Joker actually catching on to Luna. Zoran's unable to pop the brilliant in. Being pinned down and gone away with it. Not just yet. Doyo making sure he got himself that kill. KYY tries to compensate this. Oh, almost got it. One more. But no, double kill on Doyo. Trying to run away, but there's no way to run. Can he just execute away? Now the rest of the team just arrived. Can he just save him? Not enough just yet. One Coco that burst airstrike didn't actually make a lot of damage, but enough to buy more time. I mean, ah, oh, this is gonna be tough. Oh, wait, Joker actually finding Sui here. For the airstrike coming through, Fatal Links onto Joker. They clear in the first initial pick onto Keybot. Joker initiates the fight. The Brilliance is popped straight away. This is gonna be huge. The Fatal Links, but now Epin can kind of walk into the fight, but he does. He has his ultimate, but they call it off. King Brands is a little too big. They haven't found their priority yet. Ramzu, he is, doesn't have enough life. He ejects Dreams back into the team. More Fatal Link on Epin's side. They didn't manage to follow that one out quite well, but Doyo, he got silent just now. In the moment he got silent. Now they take all the inhibitors as they are looking to crash down into the core here. The rest of the team struggling to build up. Ethan trying to make something happen here. Winter Trunger being popped by Bravo to save his KDA. GG. Well played, Big Tron. Just shut down your ringers. Don't let Big Tron play it. We know that when it comes to you can see how disrespecting all these powers are going to He doesn't clear the lane as fast as the other monsters out there. Oh, 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 he's getting survived. Oh, wait, sorry, Cloud actually going. Oh, dear, Bambi decides to pull on through. He rotate, tries to rotate out. However, his level advantage is faster here, but Ramzu at the same time with a lot of shield already used. No ultimate yet. He has nowhere to run. There's no consecration. That's the end of trying to run away with the second skills here. Ace has nowhere to go with every bite. Pause. Oh, no. There's going to be one. We should have flickered preemptively there just to dodge the searing coin. But again, Joker once again in a lot of trouble. Oh, dear, Bambi finds a Four men come out from Geek Fam Indonesia just now Ace still tried to position himself, landed one fatal link, but Doyo got himself! Oh, way out of that war form, and now Azura being punished again! Azura can't seem to get a break as Geek Fam Indonesia consistently prioritizing his lane. Oh, there you go, Thomas MB with the rest of a team just getting a. Oh, or even, uh, or even the carry here, but a big catch coming in from Joker. They already found one into Ace, unable to respond in time. Fender the second to fall. Oh dear, Bambi, he really can't do anything. Struggling to float the boat. Oh, you have one fatal link, a huge one. Ibi managed to just flicker it away, but one of them has to go down. It's gonna be Ace first. Mega kill on that marksman. This is one of the reasons. What happened here just now? Well, things turned around, and now the full engage. Perfect match coming through, catching two people off guard. However, there's not a lot of damage to kind of make <gasps> this work out as one but once again in what? her ultimate with the turtle buff, with the red buff as well. Just too much to handle. And Doya, he doesn't have his first ability to help him hop over the wall, but now the rest of Siren Kind getting pushed. Just slow them back whenever that uh, basic damage, but there you go, they drop the hammer. Nice killing spree there, but that fatal link will not be follow up. And the rest of a team, Siren Kind will be history as double kill almost wipe up the whole team. Azura, the only person left here. Pretty created that 10k goalie, which I was talking about, especially 12 minutes into the game. Nothing much that Siren Clan can do. Azura finally going to go over to Geek Fam, and they are wiped out. GG, well played. Geek Fam Indonesia take the first game against Siren Clan. They had it. They had it their first couple of minutes, but then they just lost it. Because the moment they focused too much,
needs to keep up the harass here. Ace jumping onto Wong Coco so fast. However, Valir is there. He hits level two. That Searing Torrent is online. Oh my goodness. Here, Joker gets a catch onto Fenrir. Is he gonna die? Yes, he does. The Wong Coco's damage a little too much to handle. And there's really nothing in a more map oriented game. And Ramzu is having a lot of free time. Can he finally go down? Thank God. That loves it to farm. And there goes the Riot Tyrus Rage on Joker. Whoa, and they are just diving underneath that turret. And Bambi can, Bambi, can he help his friend just knock Ramzu back? But there's too much people here. Ace just arrived, but he just gonna back up. You know oh, what? Oh, he got another one. He traded two for two of this. A couple of minutes, he got caught in that trap. But when it did, oh. oh my goodness, it's huge. Finally, Ace is feeling himself, man. He has found an amazing cash through that uh, immortality, so he doesn't care about dying. He will come back with a Faragar armor as the rest of the team engages. Last Insanity comes through, and now King Fam Indonesia can't retreat. His Joker cannot even start an initiation here. Another Fetaling being dropped. Last Insanity being popped, but they just tried to zone everybody out. There will be Ramdu struggling to stay alive. But double kill on that mask up at the same time. There's only Trone left with marching in all the minions. And it's gonna be the end. Saren Clan finish off with one all for now. Mmm. Congratulations for Siren Clan bringing it one to one against Geek Fam Indonesia. What a game that was. What a Okay, definitely understandable, but Ojir Bambi in a lot of trouble as he gets chucked out here by the low heat as well as I He will obliterate whatever it is along the way. Look at this ace trying to jump in, just sacrificing himself. Are they going to play a bit more safe where they just give up everything that they can in terms of the resources? Trying to catch on Lum. Oh, Thomas and BBA easily killed that. 3v1. 2 versus 3, not looking too good. Didn't gauge coming up on the rotation from King Fam is enough to catch them up. God, Boss comes to first go. Azura is getting slowed down by that Ionic Edge, but Doyle, he's just running by with the Ooh. added damage he gets. They just gave up. Look no, at this. It's I mean, like... it's tough to say. Oh, wait, Fatal Link's actually pulling through. Rain is going down. Joker in a little bit of hell. However, Epin looking for Fenrir's head. Too much. Joker is in a little bit of trouble with the side lanes. Epin jumping onto Fenrir once again. Oh, AC goes down and Thomas and BP heroes and the rose as well but the it's so hard for Ace to even place himself how well that boy being played by Wong Coco just now he is lacking items here and gold for too his much team. items yeah. like Oh, there's nothing Azura can do here. He wants to keep them. It's not enough to kill as they jump onto Fenrir, who has no form of escape. He quickly flickers out of there. Is your Yeah, and now the rest of the team is slowly being pushed in towards Lord Yi's second ability as they get sucked in by Ace. Trying to return this around. Azura finds actually the backline that he was looking for for so long. Finds the engagement he was looking for. Needs to get rid of this Lord as he slowly rotate around. Two members down, but two have been chunked out from inside the Geek Fam Indonesia. This is going to be a tough, tough defense coming in from Siren Clan as they're going through. OJ Bambi gets chunked one third of his HP and instantly goes down to Thamos here. Ipin, he is so aggressive and he knows what he wants. I think this is the first game ever that I passed the series of MPLI that one side of the team only gets Hypercarry won't be here while we're doing the turtle. And now they've caught him out. Renazmi, he doesn't have his ultimate. He tries to go for the penalty zone. He lands it on two. But can they thinking that race might come out? But he is suppressed straight away with the five judgment. Gets pulled under turret side here. Oh, they get sucked in with the perfect match in the penalty zone to follow up as a counter ultimate. Farsa just out of turret range. Gonna chuck down Bravo with a feathered airstrike. And they get two for one in favor of Jetflix Arrow Wolf.
keep this going. They might have a chance here for Arrowwolf to win yeah. themselves. Oh. Two. oh, but Clay got caught. No way Clay can get out from there. It's zone as well. Yeah, and now Renazmi, he's getting caught out a little bit here. He gets hit by the perfect execution, but he's still with the body of the Smith. He is too big of a boy. Blazing Duet coming into the back line here to try and pick off Dreams. Not get away with the perfect match. And now they're jumping off to King Brats. He's on the way. It's probably going to be handy. But now, Top, they have to jeopardize this lane as well. Mid got try to buy and stall time here, but it's not going to be enough. That Thorn Rose is too much of a... Purely playing off of priority here. Ah, perfect execution coming on to Renazmi here. The penalty zone is only going to hit Taka. Can he survive this? No, the perfect match is going to lock him down and pull him backwards as well. That body of the Smith is good, but not good enough to pretend. It's still a lot difficult. Oh, that Feather S strike cutting them down. Watt already taking his Battle Mirror aim just to dodge the damage from King Brand. But he wants to re-engage here. And this is going to be a big fight. Penalty Ooh. zone landing on two people with a Fatal Links as well. Not going to be going too well for the side of Big Tron Esports. Taka on the run, but his ultimate ain't gonna sustain him enough. Midgard gets chunked to half HP by, uh, by King Brands. King Brands unable to pick up Clay. He needs a kill. They find it, but unfortunately, he goes down and gently on a burst. There's also Dreams waiting for another Fatal Link drop here. Can Taka actually buy more time for the team? He is going in without hesitation, but Dreams still haven't landed on one Fatal Link on two people there, but no follow up just yet. Nice beautiful penalty zone, and this is just Bam getting a double kill with a blazing duet. Beautiful Lord himself. He resets it. And Ward is not so happy about this as well. But Dreams, he managed to catch one out. But Rave running around, trying to make sure he will stay alive. But that big unite probably is immortality. At the same time, Brest trying to finish it off. But the base! They forgot to see the base! They didn't see the back door. And that's why, and that's why Mid get a bit way through the finals, just like. Taka is kind of far away oh. from the rest of the team, but they are going straight right in. And that's why you're getting that kill here. Jumping back in and out is the King's Brands, but Green will be actually focused by the rest of the team. There goes the Tempest of the Blade just now. Finish off everybody else. Midgard again trying to toss Bravo towards the back of the turret, but it's going to be Bravo getting Maniac after that toss. I'm not sure if that's helping the team. We have fight that Bravo is baiting out the rest of the BTR coming in from the back side. Dreams already catching one. Two people getting caught in by Loyi, and this is going to be a clean and easy fight for Bigatron. Complete. It's, it's a downhill moment for Arrow, but they can still get this one going if they played a bit cautious. But they're trying to shut down Bravo oh, again. Yeah. Finally took them too much, but what? He will have to throw to go oh. down here. Last. Tick of Hell on what? That's a minor win so far, but still, it actually gives them a lot of space here as as they can get one more null a bit overstay. Yeah, so it's gonna be a two for one trade. It's Arrowwolf is one of the teams. Oh, wait for it. Never mind that. And apparently they did make a mistake here. And a lot of members been lost and death. But the suppression coming in, Renazmi is gonna instantly die here. Oh, oh he no! survives! But now Dreams coming in to finish off that kill. Midgar got caught out in the process. He won't even get his ultimate off. What? Even with Red Buff, not enough. He needs to slowly peel backwards. But then you go straight away, wiped out. The Jawhead is nowhere to be seen anymore in Rave. And there goes the Tampa Blade as being hammered down as well. Renazmi tried to open his ultimate to. Trying to buy more time, dropping a lot of bats there, but it's not going to be enough. Again, Renazmi loads our last thing of health. There's just mega kill on King Brands, and there's going to be Arrow will bowing down game two. Uh, I'm that, okay, I have to just get it out there. There you go. Oh, is it too early? No, it's okay. Still managed to secure it. They just tried to stun and slow down the ex uh, experience growth on Kaja. Well, Bravo will take it out as well. So it's 
Oh, they're actually winning over this time oh. too. Mid God just gonna take down on Taka, but pull it back with a divine judgment. He goes down as well with KYY coming in for the help. Damage from uh, from Quad Shadows here, but now they're going in. As we can see, Watt wanting to clear up the fight as quickly as possible. Dreams not gonna be the priority target unless he's hit by that abyssal arrow. Yes, he does a double kill secured. Needs to be pushed by Tamus and bottom lane will be attacked by Ling there, getting the turret and getting Bravo too. Wow, that's a solid. Sure, that's coming out of Genflix arrow over Nazmi. Quickly flickers on out of there, survives that last bit of damage. KYY gets fully chunked out by that Selena. He can't do much. Midgard coming in from the backside to pick up K. So, such that Bigatron has to pull back. But now the full fight here coming out to Renazmi. Trying to hold on to his ground here. Watt going straight into the back line here with the Trudger being popped. Watt using his ultimate as a way to escape. Bravo has been chunked out quite significantly, but Dreams with the bouncing ball. Gonna stop that progression here as BTR have found the fight that they've been looking for they're trying to stop them from cutting off their rotational path as King Brands is able to secure themselves two free turrets in a lot of trouble here Diggy already popping out the time to hopefully protect the team but luckily Ling is here to save the day coming in last so it's gonna be a two for two trade care about this they want to get those turrets and now mid is gonna go down top inhibitors going down Bravo is gonna be going down and this is looking so good for Jetflix arrow wolf as they're looking to close out this game against Bigatron looking to retaliate in the mid lane Ray protecting his team with the time journey making sure that nobody is gonna get caught out by dreams who has been completely negated this game Oh, it's a truncheon already put my game on right, but it's not enough to save him. And this is it. Jet Flakes, Arrow Wolf, they have an opportunity to end this game. They are going for the crystal, and they have done it. Jet Flakes, Arrow Wolf, despite the odds, have just beaten BTR in a best of three. Qualified for the playoffs of NBL Invitation.